Just to let you know, my name is Glenn Weaver. I'm a content developer at FiveWorks Bible Software. First of all, concerning help, we do have on our, on our website, there is our uh, contact information there for support. So you want to go to, your, to the website if you do have questions about the program. We do have our forums as well. You can go to the, the forums and ask questions there. And we have some very, very knowledgeable Bioworks users that are on the forums as well. So that's nice, when, especially on the weekends when our offices are closed and we can't get back to you. You may have an answer right away, which is quite good if you're studying on Saturday and trying to preach on Sunday. Uh, it's nice to have your questions answered pretty quickly. Um, for help in the program, depending on if you have a PC or a Mac, uh, the F1 key on a PC will open up the Bioworks help file. If you're on a Mac, you want to hold uh, down the function key and hit F1, function F1. Now, wherever you put your cursor on the program, so I'm going to put my cursor here in what's called the command line, and I'm going to press the F1 key, and my help file opens specific to the command line. And if I put my cursor in the middle of the window here, which is the browse window, and I press the F1 key, I have the help file opens concerning the browse window. And if the Help file functions that way throughout the program. So wherever you are in the program, and you know you, you come out from the workshop and say, I know we talked about something in the command line, I can't remember how we did it. Where do I get help on this? Try to remember that. Put your cursor there at the command line and hit the F1 key, and that'll bring up the help file specific to that area. So that's that's a good thing to remember. Uh, something else that we'll be using throughout the program is the context menus. A context menu is say I'm gonna have my cursor here in the browse window middle window here, and I'm going to do a right click on my mouse. Now that works in, in Windows, it's a right click, that opens the context menu. And in, um, if you have a, a Windows tablet, you're going to press and hold, that opens up the context menu. Or if you're on a Mac laptop, then you use a two finger tap on your, on your touchpad, and that'll open up the context menu. That is, the context menus are very, very powerful in Bible works. So you want to make use of those because the context menu, just like the F1 key with the help file, is specific to the area in which you are uh, working in the program. The context menu is as well. So if I want to do something in the command line and I right click, it opens up a, a context menu specific to the command line. If I'm here in the browse window and I put my cursor on an English text and I right click, I have a context menu specific to working with the English text in the browse window. If I'm in a Greek text and I right click, I have a, a context menu that has options specific to the Greek text. Same thing we're with Hebrew. Um, so the context menus are extremely powerful. If I'm here over with my the analysis window, my lexicons would be, and I right click, I'm gonna have a context menu specific to the analysis window. So many times your most commonly used features are, are contained right there on the context menu. So you do wanna take advantage of, of that and uh, use that frequently, that'll, that'll help you tremendously. All right, let me give you a little bit of the program layout. So we have all these different uh, parts of the program so you understand when we talk about certain parts of the program. At the very top, of course, are the, the menu options. So you have a variety of menu options across the top. Change one sitting here. There's also a toolbar immediately below the menu. Notice I didn't have it because I personally don't use the toolbar myself. I just save the screen real estate and turn it off. Um, but the, the toolbar is here, and that is going to also have some commonly used by works tools as well. You can access these tools from the menu as well. In fact, the menu is going to contain additional tools that are not on the toolbar. But uh, some people prefer to use toolbars, and so we have a number of the commonly used tools there on the, on the toolbar. Now, Bill, you notice then there are three windows below the toolbar. These windows are on your left side. You have the search window. The search window is where your search results are going to appear. When I, when I search on something, you're going to have your search results appear. And it could be English, could be Greek, could be Hebrew. So, so that's where your search results appear. At the very top of the search window is the command line. That would be similar to, say, the, uh, the Google has your uh, little command line there that you can enter in the search terms. That's what you'll do on the command line as well. That's where you're going to enter uh, search terms where you're going to uh, enter in the 
uh, book and chapter and verses that you want to display, and uh, we'll demonstrate some of those things to you as well. So that's the search window. Then in the middle is the browse window. The browse window is where you are going to display your texts. And that's where you're going to read your texts. So you notice I have multiple versions there, and uh, you can add and, and remove versions. We'll show you how to do that as well. And then in the far right is the analysis window. The analysis window has, as you can see, there's a lot of tabs here. But uh, in a brief summary, the analysis window is where your lexicons and dictionaries, or your language of lexicons, are going to appear. So that's that window. And there, there's lots of other functionality in that window as well. And uh, we'll show you that in a little, little bit throughout the day as well. The uh, very bottom of the program has a status bar, the very bottom. You're going to see here such things as some search statistics at the bottom. You're going to see your search versions, uh, some different options that are, are turned on. Um, you'll occasionally want to use, use that status bar as well.